Good evening Guardians and I am back and in case any of you are wondering where I've been I had inflamed glands apparently um yeah my talking was pretty limited um I managed to upload one or two videos on the other channel for gaming but to be honest yeah I just it was really hurting to talk so I just couldn't talk um, which I suppose, considering I've been told I sound like a dolphin, probably wouldn't be a bad thing. But guys, let's just break straight into it and let's break down old Zerk face and see what he has. Um, so guys, first things first, where is he? He is over near the Millennial Ring thingy that they've got. Yeah, the great big round spinning thing that does absolutely jack shit all. He's right over here in the corner, standing on the balcony, and yeah. And you can't push him off. How about in Destiny 2 we push Zerg off the balcony? Let's see what our one face has for us and we'll continue on with it from there. Also guys, a little bit of self-promotion. I uploaded a Destiny montage video earlier today. Please feel free to check that out and let me know what you think. It's see your first one I've officially made. So let me know. First things first guys, obviously Legacy Engram for Helmet. So obviously any helmets that you want for year one, this will give you a random chance of getting probably not worth the 29 coins just because of the fact that well it's 29 coins and they're pretty hard to come by um so yeah probably not worthwhile guys helmet of saint because it's year one who wants year one stuff anyway helmet of saint 14 blind enemies inside the ward of dawn uh, gain bonus super energy on grenades gain bonus melee energy on orb pickup Guys, not a really bad, a really good helmet, actually, sorry, start again. It's a really good helmet, guys, if you do use your Defender class. So if you're using it, for example, like raids and stuff like that, it is really kind of cool for that. Um, really does come in handy. It was more useful for, obviously, the good old raids, like, for example, uh, you know, the Taken King and stuff like that, um, or even Atheon and all those sort of old-time raids. Um, so yeah, but definitely still pretty cool, and if you don't have it, I would suggest grabbing it if you have a few extra coins. Uh, Radiance Dance Machines. Move well quickly while aiming your weapon. Increase the amount of shotgun ammunition you can carry, which also does change to machine gun later, which is obviously pretty cool. Uh, increase agility for 5 seconds after a void kill. Oh, sorry, arc double kill. Uh, after a solid double kill or void double kill. Um, apart from looking very, very leery and making you look like a road flare, um, they are not bad. Obviously, shotgun and machine gun ammo is a pretty good combo. Uh, the agility thing is not too bad. Moving well quickly while aiming your weapon is a little bit uh, situational. But apart from that, guys, like I say, obviously the shotgun and machine gun is definitely pretty cool. Uh, Skull of the Dalmakara, a take, re uh, take reduced damage while using Nova Bomb, improve energy drain abilities. Game bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of darkness. Game bonus melee energy orb pickups. Um, not a bad helmet if you're using your warlock and you want to be a nova, like a uh, obviously running around with your nova bomb with your, uh, with your void walker. But guys, obviously that said too, there are uh, uh, helmets like Obsidian Mine um, that really do come in handy for the warlocks as well. Um, so obviously you just yeah, decide which one of those two you want if you're going to be a void walker. Um, apart from that, obviously if you're going to run a stealth cast or something like that, probably not going to be as beneficial, um, but there are helmets for that. Uh, invective. Uh, this weapon generates ammo over time. This last round in the magazine deals bonus damage. It's actually not a bad shotgun. Um, now I do not believe the uh, the weapon regeneration ammo works while you are actually playing PvP. I think I have tried that and it didn't work, which kind of sucks. But final round is definitely pretty cool. You got quick draw, fitted stock, send it, linear compensation, field choke, and accurate uh, ballistics. But that said, guys, obviously, like I said, there are other guns out there, other shotguns that do have last round and do not technically waste that actual obviously that that extra perk um considering the fact that it will not work for pvp um so you know if you get like a conspiracy d or something like that you can always get last round on those sort of things so yeah you might be able to pick up something that's got two perks instead of just one 
Um, Postman Drive, Void Drive, Heavy Hammer Synthesis, Heavy Hammer Synthesis, Three of Coins, Glass Needles, uh, Exotic Shard, and Motes of Light. Guys, that's what Wormface has for you this week. Uh, um, yeah. If you're a Titan, you're in luck, because obviously you got the helmet. That is pretty cool. Um, but apart from that, guys, obviously everything else is pretty average, so to speak. Um, obviously, Invective is not bad for PvE, but pretty sucky for PvP. Um, you're better off just getting Conspiracy D or some other shotgun that has final round and some other perk that you can use. Apart from that, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I will put a link to that montage video that I put up earlier today, and I will try and remember to do that. I always say that and don't do it. Um, so I will actually put that up. Let me know what your thoughts on that are. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you playing Destiny. Have a great day and enjoy.